Hey, what you talking about over here, huh? Y'all got some Kit Kats? Where'd you go? <laughs> hey. <laughs> the season finale for season two of Attack on Titan is here, baby. And things are getting spicy. We got Titan action. We got Eren and Mikasa facing off against the Titan that killed their mama. And it's getting, it's going down. It's just going down. The DMs on the down low too slow. Anyway, it's kind of bars for a second there. But I hope you guys check out the Patreon. It's just five bucks a month or higher if you choose to do so. But hey, no pressure. It's only if you like supporting the channel a little bit extra. I just want to put it out there very openly. These videos are all getting massively demonetized recently um, for the past few weeks now. And it's no pressure. But if you want to help support the channel, uh, the best way to do it is through the Patreon. So just want to put that out there for you guys. Uh, it helps pay off my editors. It helps pay myself. It just helps support us all. It also helps pay Ant for the other series that we do here, too. Anyways, we're getting straight into things. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm guats. And let's get into it. <laughs> oh, that, that scream. Oh, that hurts. Oh. I watched that back in English the first time I saw it. So, like, that's... Oh. I was watching an English dub for the first three episodes, and then I switched to sub. Ooh. Flashback of it before, though, so... Wah! Oh, right, because he's chucking titans. That's where we last left off. He just tossing them. Like hot kicks. And you get a titan! And you get a titan! It's like Oprah Winfrey! And you get a titan! Check under your seats. You got another Titan. Oh, dude, he's only got one arm on him. Someone give him a hand, huh? huh? Oh my God! Don't go after Irwin. Don't go after Irwin. Wait. She's holding off the Titan away from Irwin. Was she saving Erwin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Erwin was really telling that plan to somebody and they just got gobble wobbled up. Titan lunch meat. <gasps> that you ever had lunchables as a kid? They're like those little except there's like the ones that are like little crackers, you can stack them like with cheese and meats. And it's like Titan snacks. You should have one like little <laughs> Someone make that meme on Twitter, please. I need this in my life, okay? <laughs> little Titan Lunchables. Just humans. <laughs> this Irwin's arm is dessert. <laughs> oh man. <gasps> Hannes! Oh yeah, Hannes gonna die for sure this episode. You need to avenge. You need to avenge what you f***ed up way back in the day. He go avenge the mother. Okay. He's dead for sure. Yeah, give the old man backup indeed. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> like, like, it's gonna make me so upset, but I'm so like, oh man. Yeah, but John really coming into his own. Yeah, what are you doing? Cooperate the scouts! Cooperate the scouts! Make the right call! It's okay! Just just be on the side of humanity. Come on! But it's a hell you can live with someone who you care about. Oh! Yep. Oh, no, she really tried to save herself. Uh, 
I mean, for you to live outside the walls means you probably have a chance, better chance of living, right? If, if you're protected by the Titans. That's assuming that you would be. Stop living for other people! Live for nobody but ourselves! Exactly! We've had this talk! Oh my god. She's such- I love her so much. I love her so much. She's grown into such a great character. Holy hell. She ain't just a waifu. I love Historia. Honest is so dead, bro. I keep waiting for it now. The fact that he's still alive is a plot twist. <laughs> Girl, you can- I gotta be one to do it. <laughs> Come on, bite the arm, bite the arm. Transform. Your hands aren't fully formed yet. It needs to heal. Oh. Oh my god, Aaron can't transform yet. And his fingers ain't even formed yet. Does he need to be fully formed back? <laughs> Holy shit. Jean! Jean! Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. No! He's oh my god, if his back got blown out, oh my god, no. Armin, save him. Armin. Aaron, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking grotesque, dude. Oh my god, it's like watching all hope is lost. Oh, but there are those who are still fight. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it fell! It fell! No! No! Someone! Armin can't save it here! No one can save- No! Not like his mama! Not like his mama! How could you? How could? How could you? Again? Again? How? Like, how could we end up here again? Like, of course, of course, we saw all the warning signs, right? Like, I've been calling it this whole time. It's not like it wasn't obvious. It was obvious since, like, episode 7 or 8, right? Even, like, 30 seconds ago, I was saying it was gonna happen, right? The fact they can make it still hurt this way, even when you know it's gonna happen, is insane! How did they... How did they pull up my heart? The way they pause. Look at the cinematography of this whole thing. Just look at this scene. The way the audio cuts. You can hear the feral sounds coming out of it, the gore. The slow motion of the bite just like in the first episode. Oh, the same shot. And the way that the crunch happens, this audio of the music cuts out, and you hear the steam and the, and the blood fall into the flowers, the same flowers from their childhood. Like, what? What? And the light fade from his eyes as he's held there. Oh, God. And then they mimic so many shots of their faces and the style of which he's being held to be just like the one from episode one. 
and they hold the silence and it's just so beautifully done and it's like even though they can stand up even though they can do something they still are powerless before it it's so well done fuck oh god oh god This is about to get super dark, and I don't really talk about this often. I had the same reaction when my best friend died. I started laughing and crying hysterically, and I started like being like everyone in my life dies. It was a really dark moment for me, and I just connected way too hard with Aaron here. I've had really, like, quite a few friends die in my life. Unfortunately, I I remember very clearly being here. It it's when you're going through that moment though, you don't feel crazy. You just feel like life. I don't know how to explain it. It's the laugh itself. Like when you feel it. It it kind of feels like a high. It doesn't feel like you're actually so upset you're crying or screaming or something. It's like you feel like the sort of euphoria moment because your brain can't fully get what's happening again. It just is so overstimulated you just start losing it, right? And that's just kind of, oh, God. Oh, God. That's the thing about, like, the writing of this. This writing so realistic to human emotion of situations because most people be like oh he's gonna have a breakdown he's gonna like hit himself or cry but it's like no this is a real last thing that happens going into this phase <laughs> oh the no sound just the steam from his body and the screams <laughs> What what is you can is, is she implying you can save others? That you can save humanity? That this might not be the moment, but there will be a moment. Tell you something, tell what? Girl, this is not goodbye. Girl, this is not goodbye. Why? Are you gonna kiss? Ah! <laughs> What's this thing? This thing said, "Hey, what you talking about over here, huh? Y'all got some Kit Kats? What you go? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, go, Mama, let me holla at you. Why are you, why are you sneak around the corner like that?" Oh my god, because no, I'm gonna start crying. Oh, please, I'm already teary eyed. I don't want to start bawling. I want to keep talking during my video because it got me messed up now. Did he really dodge the kiss? Did he? That pulled me out of it. Did he really dodge the kiss? Aaron, Aaron got the Sigma grind set. He said, Alright, cool, bitch, but these titans gotta die. <laughs> he a goat. He a goat. Oh, that's actually like a lot more. That's like his own passionate undertones. Now for whoever is. Okay, I love that actually. Instead of a kiss, it's like more passionate in that sense too. He heals. Did he punch and transform or did he just punch? 
How the hell did that work? What just happened there? Did he just punch a titan hand while still in human form? Is he controlling titans? What was that? What the hell was that? Is he summoning titans to go fight for him? Can Aaron wield titans? What did Aaron do? It is our chance to leave. So yeah. There's still hope even inside the walls. There's a future, exactly, exactly. Without a doubt. Oh. Can he control them to stop going after him? No, he's controlling the other titans to go after those two. <gasps> Holy shit! He can control all lesser titans. It's based on his will. Can someone pick up the damn half eaten man off the ground? Please, Erwin. Oh, my God, poor Barry. Oh, no, not poor Barry. Screw Barry. I'm very, it's very hard to deal with the emotions I have. Just join us, Yimmer. Come on. Head pads. Head pads. She chose them. Oh, they're all living. They're all living. Yep, that those people are alive. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh man. You meet what thought the cold on me or what are not the kid. King of Sorejo, the Kuriko. I can't believe Erwin's still alive. <laughs> That's a resilient ass man. Oh my god, because just holding on to him and crying is just I I love her. Oh stop. Oh, oh Hannes no. Oh you got me got you got got, got me reading oh, okay, hold on, let me blow my nose first. I got nasally. Alright, okay, okay. Information available for public disclosure, unyielding thou. Through extensive research and accounts of various incidents, it has become clear that the screw the scor the scrow score scourge of Titans, which have lo uh, long plagued humanity, are of human origin. The colossal Titan, which destroyed the wall in the district, <laughs> is a human possessing the ability to transform into a Titan demonstrated by the intent to breach the wall. And the purpose to exterminate humans. Titans are not sent by heavens to punish us for our sins, but invaders that must be driven back. Thus, we swear by the blood of our brothers and comrades have spilled, waging a war against the, this foe. We shall not relent our lands, nor yet yield the fields. Yield the fight. I said fields. <laughs> I can't read so good, okay, feller? <laughs> I tried my dark tooth best. <laughs> Yeah, why did you? 
私がバカだからだな里帰りの土産になってやってんだよ手ぶらじゃお前ら帰ってくれねえだろユミルお前らのおかげを壊しに来なきゃ私はずっと冷めない夢を見てああさあその時借りたものを返してるだけだなお前たちの境遇を知ってるのは私だけだしな Holy hell. Arigato. So she's letting them not go back empty handed. Yeah. That's insane because we just talked about how you should do it for yourself. Oh my god. Okay, what were they going to do? Oh, good. Thank God. Charles is pretty as hell. <laughs> the one armed goat. Hey, Levi's there. Hey, Pixish. 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 Oh, my God. Cardi looks horrified. <laughs> He's going to shit himself. Is he to talk about the Titan that he thinks is his mom? Because because Haji's investigations. She went to that same village to investigate. That's why he looks he's about to shit himself because he realized what happened. How they all turned into Titans. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's what they're doing! Oh! Oh, they're having the conversation! I forgot about that! I didn't forget about it, but like, it was in the back of my mind. They're focusing on other things. Yeah. That's his mama. Oh, Aaron. Oh my god, she's wearing the clothes that she wore when she was younger. She's like trying to find comfort within herself. Oh my god, you sweet angel. Oh my god. Yeah. That's what yep, 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 yep. He commanded them. Oh, God. Yep. Aaron, you'll make it worth it. Exactly. <laughs> He's saying everything that's right right now. Jean is completely right here. Normally, like... I mean, not even normally. Back in the day, he was a dickhead and being confrontational. This is just meaningful, where it's like only you can determine the value that you hold, Aaron. So it's either you make it worth it that those people died for your sake and will continue to die for your sake, or you let it all go to waste. It's in your hands what you do with this, right? Whether you have that ability or not to, to control the Titans doesn't matter. It's what you are able to do in this war that we're waging. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Oh my god, okay. Good shit. Okay. A little spooky, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Yup. Oh, Levi's eyes, damn. He. Ooh. Yup. Yes, you have. Damn, the the guilt Levi felt in that running around he slaughtered the most of Titans, right? He's been running around killing people. <sighs> but he has to, it's a war. But it's like 
you, you sign up to like and that's the thing is that he's always had like this distancing language where it's like you know a like a pair of a, 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 a whatever the word where it's like you know the ones that are more like conscious that have more thought which are usually human piloted nonetheless but like that uh, like appearance i think is what they were a parents a parents anyways um and then they had like um like the regular like goofy ass smaller titans and stuff and i think that like at the end of the day you could see those being more like beast like creatures but when you dehumanize them it makes it easier but when you find out they've been transformed that they're actually originated as humans just regular people it creates a darker tone to what you're doing right it's kind of like the idea of like okay if you like you were hunting and you shot a wolf right because it's either you or the wolf it's one thing but it's another thing if you're going out hunting for the wolf it was actually shape-shifted from a human and you just didn't know right and it's like knowing that you're like oh my god i just took a life even if like it's either me or this wolf nonetheless it's a life i took without realizing the gravity of what i've done and does he regret the decision we won't really know yet but it's gonna at least create internal conflict at the minimum right because it doesn't have to be black and white here it doesn't have to be oh he knows what he did is justified thus he feels no guilt you can feel guilt over anything to any extent and still be right in your actions and still know you even did the right thing and to still feel upset about it or feel contradictions towards it a perfect example is reiner reiner knows what he needs to do but he constantly felt contradictions towards his actions because humans are dynamic we have more than one emotion towards everything that we do and it sometimes could not coincide or not make sense with each other Herbie. He's, oh, he's smiling because he's like, if they're humans, then we can win. Then we can beat them if they're humans. Is that what Erwin's thinking? Because he can have smart humans. The hell are you smiling for? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Levi's it's creeped out. Levi's creeped out to hell. <laughs> Levi hit the... <laughs> yeah, we have to go more step towards the truth. True. That's true. <laughs> yeah, people are dying. Yeah, people are dying. Damn. The wall hiding the truth. Okay, homie. I love Irwin's tenacity, but damn, you are willing to let the world die for your tenacity. Levi has so much empathy towards those who have fallen. And though he seems emotionally distant or cold or cut off, it's because of how much he actually cares about what's happening around him. It's kind of like Mikasa. Mikasa has a deep caring. Mind you, for select people. But she has a very deep caring and compassion for the people she cares about. <gasps> ah! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Who the hell's standing on top? Who's steaming and standing on top? Who's that? Is that just Ryder? Is that just Ryder standing on top on the shoulder? Looking out? What's happening? Look at, oh my god, Beast Titan. Oh shit! It's somebody else. Why he got the glasses like the dad? Didn't the dad have those same glasses? Dad was a blonde though. Dad had brown hair. Who the hell is you? Madaka. Who the hell is you? Oh, that's the Beast Titan owner. Who the hell is you? Have I seen him? Who? My brain's trying to figure it out. Armin's dad, maybe? Who the hell? Why all these old gilts coming out of nowheres? Huh? I thought Armin daddy dead. Armin's grandpa? No, Armin's grandpa dead too, isn't he? Didn't he go into the fields and die? No. Wait, who? Who is you? What? My brain. He was buffed out of his mind <laughs> okay sorry i'm oh, sorry <laughs> thank you for watching i'll catch you guys in the next episode for those of you on patreon stick around we'll talk about the episode more i just need to hover to make sure that i don't miss anything no i think we're good um thank you so much for watching youtube if you want to help support the channel check us out over on patreon for five bucks a month you get early access to episodes unfiltered uncensored uncut for all the series that do here on the channel and on top of that it just helps out massively uh it's the same thing as if you like subscribe to people over on twitch and stuff like that it's the same concept but just on patreon instead and uh yeah that's about it i'll catch you guys later thanks for all your love and support catch you guys in season three bye youtube